the next step of the project is to cut out the cockpit and cut off this pilot house off the boat. So I have half a mind to do it right now. But I don't know if I'm going to. Like right now. R like right now. My name is Matt. Follow along as I turn Duracell, the legendary ocean racing sailboat, into a comfortable cruising home. So well, before we start uh, cutting into the boat, I think it's time we explain a little bit about what our plan is for it. We, uh, you know, learned about the boat a couple years ago, and it wasn't until this past June that we were able to get the boat in our yard. And so we had a lot of time to dream and draw uh, what exactly we wanted to happen, uh, how we wanted to modify the boat. It was relatively easy for us because our previous boat, Louise, had a great layout uh, and we basically wanted to copy that and then stretch it out to fit in a 60 foot boat. Louise was 40 feet long uh, and Duracell being 60 feet long, we'll just have more uh, space to make it happen. What we've started working on now is between these two bulkheads. This is the current main cockpit of the boat where the helm was, the engine room is down the middle, there's ballast tanks on either side. Uh, and what uh, we're going to do is cut out the entire cockpit out between from between these two bulkheads. Uh, and that include we're cutting out the uh, the cockpit sole and the benches uh, and then the water ballast tanks, just getting everything out of this out of this area uh, so that we can start to modify it to what it's going to be. This evening, uh, my buddy Scott is coming over and we're going to attempt to uh, cut out the cockpit. So he's gonna give me a hand doing that. I'm really excited. Uh, it's a committing step in this project, which is cutting open the boat, doing the damage before we can start putting her back together. Hey, my name's Scott. Uh, I've been a friend of Matt's for quite a few years now, maybe about 10 years, and moved up to Port Townsend a couple years ago. I work as a rigger here in town, and thought it'd be fun to spend my afternoon evenings off here and come help the Duracell project and take a saw to a boat. I've got a uh, Kindle 32. It's a uh, Precursor to the West Sail 32s, and hopefully in a couple of years, take her out cruising. The biggest thing that we're going to do is add what we call a uh, what we call a doghouse, uh, and so this is about twice as long as the doghouse or the pilot house that's on the boat now, um, and then underneath that doghouse. Uh, about the the aft half of it is there's going to be a couple benches here and here that are opposing each other underneath the the sole is the engine room on either side underneath the benches is uh, staterooms um, this will be a full bed this will be kind of sea berths um, and then forward uh, of those benches will be the galley will be in this area the advantage to this is 
that when you're in the galley, you still have, you, you have this high ceiling, uh, high overhead, as well as uh, lots of light coming in to that area of the boat. This is how our old boat, Louise, was laid out, just in a smaller footprint, and it was really nice. Uh, we spent all of our time in this area because when you're sitting in these benches, you are uh, looking above the water. So the first thing that we're going to do, we ha we've cut this whole uh, cockpit out. This bulkhead, this is like the main bulkhead in the boat, has to be moved uh, about 15 inches aft. Oops. Which puts it in this area right here. And so uh, that's project one. And then from there we can start building uh, the, or we can start mocking up the whole uh, doghouse and uh, bench area. Where did you grow up, Salem? I grew up in North Idaho, in Coeur d'Alene, mm -hmm. sailing on a little Lido 14 that my dad learned to sail on in California and that his dad owned. So it was kind of three generations of playing on this little boat. And unfortunately, it's not with the family anymore, but it was a great, great way to get into it. And then kind of went from there and a lot of J24 racing on Inland Lakes, Mexico, out here in Puget Sound, out of Seattle. And had an International 14 for a couple of years. Broke that a bunch, had a lot of fun. And then started getting into cruising boats more. 